All right, what is up, you guys? Cordell, welcome back to our Wi-Fi battle. Right, this time I'm going up against FSU, Uvzu, and um, yeah, I mean the team I'm using is the same one I had versus Hannah, and uh, it's a combination of things I want to do or use and things I don't want to use, and people just don't like me anymore. Jesus Christ, what is this? Those straight off the bat, like I have two really good situations here. First and foremost, we don't see a spinner, we see potential defoggers in uh, Rotom, which is kind of nasty. And, uh, hmm, kind of want to lead off with webs actually. I don't believe, like, Terrakion is tough on me naturally, Volcarona is tremendous, and uh, everything else, kind of alright. Um, but Volcarona, I have at least one fair switch in versus that, is whether or not I can bulk through it. Hmm. Scary team. Scary team for sure. Tokis might actually be um, the one selling this whole game if I'm really unlucky. But see, lead off with Trakion. That's unfortunate. <laughs> hmm. That's really unfortunate. I'm just sticky webbing, hoping for the best. And he will get the freest knockoff, or I mean, uh, Stone Age of his life. Now I need a free switch into Machamp, basically. Because he needs to go for Stone Age. Taunt. An anti lead variant? That's actually kind of nasty. You don't see those. Alright, Stone Edge. Actually Stealth Rock, so it's an absolute anti-lead. Still can spin on my side, so I'm not definitely that worried. And uh, it should be somewhat frail, right? Yeah, easily 2 it kill in that. So he needs connected this Stone Edge or um, he's gone. So good for him that he connected. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Oh wait, there is more! There we go, Thunderbolt! And we at least get Terrakion out of the way. But he got the place right in the beginning, so... <sighs> My taunt is gone, but... Can I even web up now? Looking back, like, we have Fera for I believe. Which I could potentially... Be my potential way of actually setting up. Now, I think it's gonna Volt Switch. I know I would have done that. Yeah, there we go. I think it's rather free. And uh, let's see, who would I have switched in here? Toe I believe, is like super safe. Yeah. And you can, in theory, just flinch through. But. Like, unless he has Aura Sphere, I do believe this is a matchup that I potentially win. Let's see what he got. Air Slash, at least. That's fair. And... Um, I think I Stealth Rock here, right? I think that's rather safe. He does switch out. I think Drag... Pult comes in. So right, he was in theory allowing me actually to spin. So it already showed me that he had the Volt Switch. So let's see if it does that again or go directly for a Hydro. It was somewhat offensive, I think 200 pumps will knock me out. Oh yeah, it is absolutely in range. Um, Stone Edge here, thinking of the Togekiss after all. If we Volt Switch and try to get that one in for free, at least we can damage it. Keeps Hydro Pumping, and this will probably KO. Uh, unfortunate.
reverses this, we can actually go for Soul Stance. He does so much damage, I think he specs, but it could just be very offensive. He does decide to withdraw, I think, Theraphorn? Yeah. We're gonna try to get some damage in there. But this Jarable will hurt, for sure. And then Iron Barbs and whatnot. So it's not ideal. Like matchup, but I think Night Slash will do a whole lot of damage. And more so if I get a crit. Oh, nice. Nice. There's the Iron Barbs, and here comes the Gyro Ball. And I don't believe it knocks us out, but it's definitely gonna push us there. And next hit will be with an earthquake, and I actually beat the Ferra form. Also means that I can't with Vicable's Roost through, which is gonna be slightly annoying, but uh, it's a minor setback and already tough game. Right, you just decide to sack it, so it makes sense. Um, the reason I didn't go for an earthquake first was because my I have basically a 50% chance of critting, so i rather get that crit with Night Slash, which I think is closer to 50, than Earthquake, who's probably 25% now I'm thinking about it. Let's see, switch in there is Dragapult. And I have nothing here that will take that hit from him. However, Drapion is really, really, really fast, so... I think I do this. Because it's gonna U-turn anyway. Fire Blast, that's aggressive. Consider that I have a... Um... You know what? Oh, Life Orb, cool. Right, Fulf, it is time. It is absolutely time. Come on, buddy. Come on. Right, it does decide to stay in. So we'll see how much damage we can get in this before we fall. But I do believe a Dragon Dart or Draco Meteor will do a whole lot of damage. If it doesn't U-turn, that is. He Dracos, alright. So that's an absolute sack play at least. And we're gonna knock him out. Nothing to it. Now it's all about surviving... Um, Rotom and surviving potentially Volcarona. Because getting them at minus speed is going to be important. Or yeah, he can flinch through me here. We'll go for a max air. Let's see, Dynamax and get the, that gosh darn speed race. Can we survive this max air stream? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Tokyo is so busted in this. <laughs> right, please, Stoutlin, do it for me. First, please be faster. That's actually incredible. So he gets his minus speed no matter what. And we do a whole lot of damage. But I feel it's unlikely that we will survive um, the, the air slash attack or the max air stream. If we do, I do believe we beat him. Actually, max knuckle. So it did have Aura Sphere. So that's unfortunate, but we do live it. 
So, Fulf is coming through in ways I never thought was manual or even possible. Hell, whatever happening is right here, I'm actually happy I get this showcased. So we beat Toikis. Like hell. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know whether or not he got greedy. Because Max Knuckle is reduced. But I think it's the same, like, same type of damage output as... Uh, As Max, I was gonna Max Earstream, I think it's called, right? Right? That's Roll Tom, which we yet have to beat, of course, and uh, Southland is absolutely slower. There is nothing to it. Unless it's a like somewhat bulky build. But let's see what I got left. Nothing that beats Roll Tom. So what I'm gonna do here is go for a protect, see what he wants to do, and then really hope that um, I hope that I'm faster because I'm I'm slower than anything else anyway. Right, he's faster. Like I said, nothing to it. And um, here comes a bull Corona. <laughs> Ooh, and I can't beat Ro Tom. <laughs> It's not the end of the world, it's actually kind of funny that I, I did pressure him somewhat. But yeah, like I said, there is just nothing here that beats him. I could flip turn though, I guess. If I were him, I actually preserve the ever-living beast of Volcarona. Let's see if you make that call. The choice band of liquidation will do a whole lot of damage to Rotom. For sure. Yeah, he stays in. This liquidation is going to absolutely destroy him. And then it's where or not he gets the flame body. Please don't. Right? Yeah, we're still in this. We're still in this. So he has a Volt Switch, which could be arranged. Oh, it's slowing down though. Don't DC, no! No! Did he really DC on me? It's alright, I guess I'll leave this game with an interpret situation that I actually think I win. Because, let's say now that um, we already know it's speedy and actually kind of, kind of on the, um, on the frailer side basically. My idea here was to switch out, sacking, or actually no, I would have no reason to, I'm faster here. I would go for that choice band of liquidation no matter what. And then Drapejump would have won this game. So I won, I absolutely won this game. No doubt, I actually had another play, sacking, uh, uh, actually sacking my uh, Colossal and then uh, actually get in Barbarical, I was going to say, but very skewed, I'll go for Aqua Jet and then finish off with Night Slash on Drapion. Um, Drapion would do 60% no matter what and get a credit for guarantee KO, since we know it's trailer. So, him DC on me is him being an absolute coward. Absolute coward. Uh, so, <laughs> anyway guys. I really hope you enjoy this game. I really, really hate when games ends up like that, but you know, sometimes that's that is what happens. You just gonna confirm that I'm still online and it wasn't me. I'm still connected. So he absolutely decent. He did not appreciate that wrap up. So that was that was kinda cool. I'll take it. Um so hope you guys enjoy this game and um yeah. <laughs> this Aria team is clearly working. Um, even versus OU. How about that? They didn't think we were gonna do that. <laughs> but yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.